Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a quick tutorial that was requested by uh, one of the subscribers on my channel. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to walk through a fairly simple uh, one uh, runway airport, and I'm also going to put in a um, a custom model as well. So, so of course, as always, we're in uh, developer camera. I just picked this area out in the middle of nowhere and we're going to create a new project and I'm going to go to my uh, FS projects again you can save this wherever you want uh, I'm going to create a new directory here right click uh, folder uh, I'm going to call it uh, tutorial and then select that folder and I'm going to call it tutorial as well and then we're going to click OK. And then first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a BGL to this. Again, we're going to call it Tutorial. And we're going to create the BGL. And then we're going to save the project. So now, if I just to show you, if I were to go to that Tutorial directory, it creates the Tutorial.xml. And it creates a Tutorial.xml in there as well. This one contains the uh, information uh, for the um, for the for the scenery that we've just set up. So now, if I go back, created this. Uh, I'm going to create uh, Joseph and uh, scenery, and then we're going to put a thumbnail in, of course, uh, standard one, which is in the SDK, uh, sample, simple scenery, package definitions, my company, content info, and the JPEG. Away you go. And then we, if we go file, uh, save, and we go back again, and we uh, check up on this now. We have our scenery, we have our content info, and we have the, the BGL as well. Now, of course, the, the BGL uh, is going to have to be changed slightly because we got to set up our asset directory uh, so if we go into my project tutorial and I right click and go new folder and we call this scene and we select that folder and we do scenery slash okay so then we load an editor and then we just uh, we're just gonna tilt the world a little bit like this there we go. We'll zoom back out a little bit so we can see it. So uh, now what we have is we have our project editor. We're going to make these a little bit smaller. Move it up. Move it up here. And I'm going to put it in the bottom. And we'll make this a little bigger. There we go. Okay. So now we've created our, uh, now in theory right now, if we were to go up here, we could build our package. In fact, I'm going to do that in a second, but I'm going to show you right now in tutorial, this is our directory is what we have. There's nothing in scene yet. I save scenery. Okay, so if I look in tutorial, again, that just defines where my package definitions are. If I go in package definitions, there's a tutorial directory, which contains the thumbnail. And again, I'll show you this again. And this is just the, um, the tutorial in XML that's in here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build our package. I'm going to bring up uh, my console, I'll clear it out, click build package, yes I do want to save, it shouldn't give me any errors which you know ignore these ones here, but now if I go back there will be a packages directory and in that packages directory is a fully working package that you could put into your community folder. Of course it doesn't contain anything yet but that's essentially what you're going to do at the end. So we will go back here uh, we'll shut this down and we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a we'll, we'll close this material editor 
and okay and then we're going to create do -ba -do -ba -do. Uh, where are we here we go Oop, that's right I forgot where it was <laughs> okay so put in our objects so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in an airport so we put in airport like add right there is fine and so now we have to go to properties of this airport and we're just going to call this uh, T-U-T-O for tutorial hit enter region is going to be NS for Nova Scotia country name is Canada and I'm hitting enter and hitting tab after each one of these if you don't hit enter at the end it will not take it so we'll say Halifax and the airport name is going to be T-U-T-O and then we would save scenery so now we're in the scene and we're going to call this T-U-T-O dash uh, airport so we'll save that Again, if we go back here, if we go into scene, we'll have this XML, which will contain all that information that we just put in there. So now, obviously, we have no runway, of course, but now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a, we're actually going to put in a polygon first. So because we're going to get rid of all of this, uh, all of these trees. So again you add a polygon hold down the left control key click and double click what okay and then um, exclude all that should get rid of the And that didn't get rid of it, of course. Okay, so excluding all. We'll terraform that. Well, that's right. Vegetation. Put this put it down to zero. Now that'll get rid of all the vegetation in that area. So once we put a polygon in. We have to hit save scenery again. This time we're saving a shape file. T U T U T U T O dash polygon. Make sure you do not save the same name. Because if you do, you will overwrite the airport one that's in there. So now we've got an airport, we've got an area to put our runway down. So the last step for this thing is just to put a runway down and uh, we'll put it at uh, say runway 03 and we'll add this and you can see it here I'll move this over here a little bit so you can see it so you got a runway here so we go to our configuration so our heading uh, right now it's 180 and we'll subtract um, so this is a uh, runway 03 which would be normally be 30 and you subtract 18 from that is 12 so actually subtract 8 the reason you subtract 18 is because in this area the magnetic variation is minus 18 degrees or 18 degrees west so that would be 162 and enter and we pretty much have a north and you'll notice that the length is only 200 uh, meters. We'll change that to 800 meters for now. So we have, okay, our width, of course, again, 50. Number 03. Uh, materials. We're not going to worry about the materials. We'll just leave that. Uh, now, if I 
come in here, one of the little bugs, I guess we'll call it, is that you can't necessarily see it unless you're in close. So we'll just change some markings. Uh, we'll put edge markings down. You'll notice they pop up there. Threshold markings would pop up there. And the number and designator at the end. And if we come down here, right? And of course you can put precision markings in. Fixed distance markers or these type of markers. Touchdown markers. Center dash line will come up. Okay, so that's it for that right now. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any of the rest of them. But now, now you'll have to hit save scenery again. And now, if we go back, go into packages, and we delete this one. And if we rebuild the package again, again, we got no errors, right? Done three, done three, a zero failed. And we have our package scenery, and this time our tutorial airport and tutorial polygon. So now what you would do is once you're all done this and you're all happy, you come back over here and you copy this directory into your community folder. And now when you restart the sim, what you've done here has has been saved. Now, this is one of the things that kind of people don't understand. So I'm in this right now, I my project, I don't need to be saved. So I close my project and you'll notice that everything goes away. That's because when you're in project mode, everything you're doing is only there temporarily. It will revert back to what it was when you first booted up. But if you go into this and open up the project again, and you take you take your BGL and you load it in. Whoop! <laughs> Oop, gotta find my. Uh... Find my runway. There we go. All right, we're back. Okay, so that's something that really does confuse people. Why does this go away? When. Oh, this is uh, nasty now, too. There. Okay, why does this go away? It's because it's only in project mode. So if you close this, and as I said, it all goes back to what we'll say normal. But if I were to come over here, and I were to copy this tutorial into the community, and then reboot the sim, this would be in there. Okay, so that's something very important to remember. So now, one more step. We're going to open up the project, BGL, load into the editor, wait for it to load everything up. <laughs> there she goes. Okay, so now she's all back. Now, what happens if we want to add in a custom model? So what we have to do is we have to go up to the root uh, tutorial here. And we are going to take this over, get it out of the way for a second, and we're going to get rid of this editor. You click on here to add another resource asset group. We're going to add an art project. We're going to call it Custom Models. Now, the asset directory, this is the normal place right here new folder package sources and another new directory called model lib now while I'm here I'm going to create a new folder called texture well actually no I don't need to do that Just going to delete that. So, package sources, model lib, select that folder, and the output directory is going to be scene 
scenery. And then we save the project. Now in our case, what you would normally do is you would go in and you would grab a, uh, or you would develop a, uh, a model. So I've already got one, so I'm just going to grab one that I know works. Model lib, uh, fire hall, whoops, let's grab the whole directory. Okay, grab this fire hall one. Tutorial, package sources, model lib, control V. So it'll copy it in there. So now if I click on the root and I bring up my and I build my package, let's see if this works. It takes a few seconds for it to compile. Zero failed, so we're good. Now if I go back here and I go to my tutorial, I have my packages, scenery, and you'll notice I have a model lib.bgl with information in it. Now there is one small problem. I thought it would do something that it didn't do, but I'll fix that right now. Go into there, package sources, uh, model lib, fire hall. I'll grab all of these textures, copy them, new uh, texture folder, control V, and I will build the package again. few seconds but you'll notice this time it converted them so that's good I go back over here again go into my packages should have a texture directory now with them properly converted so now if I take my packages and I copy this this new model will be in now let's see if this part works because this part works sometimes and other times it does not so project I'm going to close it and I'm going to open it I'm going to open up my project BGL load it in of course it takes as always takes a few seconds for everything to load but now if I go into scenery and I type in fire hall, you'll notice that <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, the fire hall is there. Now if I add it to my scene, notice that I've got my little custom fire hall that I built. And I double click on it there. And I just uh, lower myself down. keeps jumping I think but anyway that's so that's how you do it now like I said it is now in this project or in the scene so now if I save my scenery and if I build my project up here it is now at, it's not only at, it not only builds the custom model but it adds it to the project as well so hopefully that helps somebody uh, again if you have any questions let me know have a nice day